All right, I'm so excited to have you here, Steve. And you have been on this networking journey practically since diapers, I'd say. <laughs> what? Tell me, what is the most craziest, most unexpected encounter that you've had that made you realize that networking is the real deal? Back when uh, I graduated high school, I made it before high school. I tell the story that I graduated. It may have been before I graduated high school, but my family launched a health club. So in the summertime, you know, you all as high school kids need a job, want to make money, we go to the beach and all that. And my cousin, who was the president, said, hey, why don't you come work the front desk? And I said, yeah, I need money. So I worked the front desk and, you know, being family and looked at it a little differently. But I started building these relationships, 40, 50, 60-year-olds, and you being in financial I met this one guy, and these guys were all millionaires, doing well. I'd see their cars, but great people. Hey, have a great workout, Tony. Hey, Joe, hey, you have a great weekend. Hey, Joe, how was your trip? You know, those kind of relationships. And some I would go to lunch with next door. We had a restaurant next door. It's called Harry's Hot Brow. So one day, you know, Tony, this Italian guy, would come up, and we'd talk, and he's a financial advisor, millions of dollars portfolio, just working with really successful people. And he said... Hey, kid, he had this Italian deep voice. What's up, Tony? He goes, hey, I, I got the tip for you. I said, hey, what do you got for me today? He goes, here's a book called The Wealthy Barber. <laughs> read it. Like 60 pages, you know, a little thin book. Yeah, I'll read it, Tony. All right, I'll get back to you next week. The next week comes by. Typical Italian guy in the sense that he's going to make sure you read it. Kid, did you read it? I said, yeah. So the basis is you're telling me or the book is saying save 10% of my income. And hide it. I'm not hide it, but just put it away. Don't even look at it. You got it, kid. So I did that for years. He finally left the club, retired. He was in his 80s. And it was about 12 years later. I was 30 years old. And I looked at the bank account for some reason. $58,000 was in that Ooh. bank account. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did right. exactly that. I, I was like lottery winner, right? <laughs> right. I still had his number. So I called him. I said, Tony, it's Steve Ramone. He goes, hey, kid, what's up? Still call me, kid. Yeah. I said, I got to tell you, I listen to you. I've been saving. I have $58,000. He goes, ah, kid, great to hear. I'm glad you took my advice. Most of the guys wouldn't take my advice. They lost millions. Yeah. They yeah. taught me a lesson. Like, listen to these some of these guys. Right. So I offered to pay him $1,000. I'm like, hey, I got to pay you. He says, no, kid, you changed my life and many oh. others because you listen to me. Right. That's my gift. Oh, and he, you know, he, he yeah. left a hundred, you know, he was not broke. Right. Right. But that's, that's so beautiful. And I was blessed because that's how my daddy taught me. So I was born with it. I mean, I'm almost obsessed about saving and, and, but most people aren't inclined that way. And what I found in, you know, three decades of my practice is, you know, they go to school, they learn how to make money and then they just graduate and go make money and give it to someone to gamble and it's like roulette wheel. Is it going to be up or down when they get there? They have no idea where their money is even invested. The majority of people. And what is it right now? 60% of people are living paycheck to paycheck, month to month. Even the ones that get, a, you know, $100,000. It's just, it's crazy. 100000 a year. So the savings thing is just a missing piece that nobody was taught or wasn't taught about money. But... The law of increase sounds like something straight out of a superhero movie. Maybe give us a sneak pre, you know, peek into what, what's your secret sauce in the world of networking? I love the superhero analogy because that's really what you are. When you meet people in your head, your mindset, I have, is a law of increase. As I shut up and listen, I use the shut up and listen because people they oh, I shut up. You're going to listen. No, we have a lot of people that don't say anything. They shut up. And I've done this. I'm guilty and not listen mm -hmm. and miss doors opening left and right. Mm. And those doors are the law of increase. This morning I was talking to a gentleman. He's talking about certain things. I said, hold on. I got two people I need you to introduce to. They're going to help you here. He's like, really? I said, yeah, they're going to be great for you. Partners. They're going to help you. The guy went bananas. He's like, oh, my God, that is so nice of you. Because of the law increase in my mindset, I was thinking, how can I help him? How can I help him? Think of trigger words. 
And he said, uh, I can't even look at my notes. I remember what it was. Well, I did it with you. We were talking about something. I said, hey, I've got this person that works with the brain. You were talking about helping your family member. I'm not special, but I'm special because I take action. Right. right. By looking at value, you got to have that in your heart, which I think everybody has. Mm -hmm. I think people in prison that have murdered have that in their heart. I just think it's covered. Mm -hmm. So bring it out, bring it out of your soul of, do you really want to help and support people? Bring them value. Right. I'll give you an example. Two weeks ago, I was on a call with a guy from Colombia. He's American, but moved out there. Got a referral. Typical. We get on these calls all the time. And the first five minutes in, he talks about his podcast. And I said, do you know, you could put that on YouTube with a category? Mm -hmm. No, I should in two minutes. I show him our call went from here if you're watching this on video, right. to the next level. Right. He now texts me every week. Right. How you doing? How can I yeah. help you? Yeah. One little law of increase I gave him. Mm. Is it going to make him a lot of money? Maybe, maybe not. But when you give a law of increase, 100% guaranteed you're going to make somebody happy. Right. Exactly. Second, minute, month, or a year. Exactly. When you give, you receive, and it's perpetual. Amen. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And you know your your podcasting has gone to the roof but you know it's not really just like whispering into the microphone anymore so how did you stumble upon the idea that podcasting could be the ultimate tool that built you know building an inner circle and how can the listeners use it for world domination level networking I love that question. That's a great question. My mentor, Josh, which we both know, yeah. um, taught me using your guests, leveraging them and their network, mm -hmm. meaning you, you do a great show, you talk to them after, you bring them some value, a law of increase. They're going to come back and go, hey, Steve, how can I help you? And then you give them that gift back. Don't cut that off. If you say, no, I'm good. You're making them takers because you've they've taken all this resources from you, referrals, and you don't let them give back. That cuts that energy. The right. infinity loop, yeah. it just gets cut off. Yeah, yeah. But right. when you do that, you leave this level of energy that I get three to 10 referrals daily. Podcasts, my business, whatever. You need to meet Steve. I yeah. had three this morning. People are like, we're so excited to meet with you. We've heard so many great things about you. I only brought them a law of increase. I didn't give them money. I didn't change their world. I just gave them something, yeah. support, help, or resource. It's such a good feeling. It I, is. I, I feel like if I didn't ha do all the things, I would just be a connector. Just like, oh, I know some person. That, I mean, because it's such a good feeling just to give and to help people. And it does come back, but I'm not doing it, you know, with that in mind. But yeah. I do see that. It's that is so beautiful. And I'm so impressed because we both jumped into the we were both on the Pantheon when we launched our podcast. And and I, you know, I appreciate Josh and and we had a great um, you know, give him the the credits there. And that got it got got me going because I had a syndicated radio show, but I didn't know how to do all this podcast, still learning the marketing. But you really, you you were probably the best student in the thing. You now have 7,500 YouTube subscriber and over, you know, 250 plus views, which, you know, when you're starting from nothing, that's pretty mind blowing. Maybe you can share something that unconventional, unconventional, right? Strategies that contributed to your success and your network's incredible growth really fast here. Right. Back to, you know, the value. Yeah. Law of increase, but the ask piece. Yeah. Hey, I love your subscriber. I'd love for you to share my show. I'd love to get some, you know, guests. These are the kind of guests I'm looking for. And I get a plethora of those and it really falls back to value. I, again, giving somebody good. When we get a gift, no matter what that gift is, we're going to be happy. Your right. gifts can come in so many different ways. What's unconventional is I run into a lot of people who are not like us. How do I serve? I don't know. I don't want to, I don't have money to serve. Yeah. You know, we go to the money piece and that's just society. Yeah. 
-hmm. So for your audience, I want them to do this. I do this challenge and I'll put it out there on Monday next week, or if you're listening to this on your next Monday, start your week off and write down every person you meet virtually and in person. I want you to give them value. You're at the grocery store and a lady can't get that can reach up, grab the can and give it to her. Right. Uh, call your best friend you haven't talked to in two years. Whatever it is, just to bring somebody a gift of value. If you can remember, write it down, each incident. If you don't remember, that's fine. But when Friday comes or Saturday, what you do is do an overview. How did you feel? How do they feel when they receive the gift? And the most important part is how did your week change? Right. I guarantee you it's going to be a better week. It is a better week. It It's so... It's almost like you could just see it coming. Like, um, you know, I'm in a situation where I'm having to give a whole lot. And was, in the brain, there's like almost going to go down the drain. And then God twinkles and comes through. And it's like something I didn't expect shows up that just goes to the next level. And that's the way that it all works. And, and it's when you give, you receive. And it is that legacy shifters infinity sign. So mm -hmm. I like that. I'm also excited about your TV show called Networking with Purpose. That really sounds like a game changer. Maybe you can give us a little tidbit of what viewers can expect. And I, I would love to. We've changed the name to Together We Serve. Okay, I like it so, better. Which like is fine. Better. Networking with Purpose is going to be the subtitle. It's the subtitle. Including Networking with Purpose and Doing Business and Life with the Servant's Heart. Kind like of taking the too. podcast name. <laughs> But the goal is to bring in, you know, an interview of somebody that has learned to serve, somebody with influence, somebody that had a catastrophic incident happen to them, and they were able to recover from that. But they only recovered because they did it together. Right. We need a village to run our business. We need a village to overcome tragedy. We need a village to live. Yes. And that could be two people, 20 people, 2,000, it doesn't, whatever works for you. But we're going to bring out stories of hope and faith and the ability to overcome on this show. Um, think of it as kind of a news show with all the positivity, not the negativity. That yeah, sounds just so I'm, I'm really excited for you. And and and, you. and you're going to we'll we'll have you back and we'll, you know, break that down, too. You have so many things I can't even get into, and I'm not going to talk about them until you launch them, but there's a few things I'm really, you know, the secret thing you're about to launch, but we'll come back to that. Um, Amen. Right. But networking isn't just about, it's not just exchanging cards, but like you've been talking about, it's creating value. And so how could our listeners, you know, channel this inner superhero-ness, right, to serve in their business, grow their network, skyrocket their income? Any super tips for them you might have? Yeah, get better 1% every day. Okay. Yeah. That's one thing. Uh -huh. uh, the other thing is you need people. We're all in business together. That's right. We don't have customers. We don't have money. We don't have a business. That's right. So how do you meet more people? You connect with more people. <laughs> yeah. Whether it's a podcast, a networking group, uh, a chamber of commerce, whatever it may be. Coming back to when you connect, two things. One, the value, law of increase. But I think the most important thing, when you brought great value to somebody, follow up. Chris, how you doing? It's been a couple of weeks. We did that. We saw each other in networking. Right. We followed up, and that's where I'm here today. Right. Stay right. connected with the right people. And here's the third thing. If they're not a fit to your inner circle, it's okay. God's okay with that. I've learned that. Yeah. I've taken people out of my inner circle. They just didn't fit me. Yeah. I'm loving them from afar. Right, exactly. But they're not helping my cause, and I'm helping their cause. Right. So it's actually a win for both of us. I know it's weird right. to say, but when you release people like that, it, we're not helping each other. So yeah, yeah. My mom used to say, "A no is is making room for the next yes." <laughs> oh, right. there you go. Right. Well said. Yeah, you you know your your arsenal affiliate products and partnerships is like a treasure map for networking and success. So. Give us a sneak preview of some of the most impactful partnerships you've been a part of or that are coming that have, you know, turbocharged, you know, your networking journey. Podcast has been good for great for this because I can develop partnerships. 
And what a partnership means, if you connect with somebody and you really feel what they've got, what you connect is, is, is in your soul, then you ask, Hey, how can I help you? Can I work partner up with you in an affiliate? Can we, as I bring people work out a compensation? Most people want to do that. I remember we got a call from a coach three months ago, said, thank you very much. I said, for what? He goes, I'm sending you $2,000. I said, why? He says, one of your listeners signed up for my coaching program. Amazing that they re I, actually it, remembered. That, he, that, right? that was what I told him. He goes, oh, no. I, and again, they're going to remember you more when you bring value. Exactly. I know I keep going back to that. No, but when you bring gifts to people, they're yeah. they're going to... Now you'll remember the person that yelled at you, screamed at you, and treated you like crap for a, a, right. a little longer. Yeah, but you're not going to take care of them because some people say, "Yeah." So I remember that guy that yelled at me and sort of mm -hmm. swear words at me in the grocery store three months ago. Uh, right. Yeah, but you ever work with them? No, that's the difference. <laughs> right, right. Keep that in mind. That's it. So another partnership is Dome Audio. I'm working with Tim Wright who won the Super Bowl uh, with Patriots in 14, they developed a headset that deaf people can now hear. I think we'll talk more about that down the road, yes. but yes. He, you know, he texts me every week. I mean, this guy's a busy dude, right? but every week he, and he's always apologized to me. Hey, sorry. It took me so long to get back yeah. to you. Yeah. And that's the, you know, that's the kind of people I want to work with. Mm -hmm. And I'm building a direct mail program where we're saving nonprofits, hundreds of thousands of dollars, all because of the partnerships I developed from my podcast, connecting with the people I connect with spiritually. Right. I right. feel their mission is aligned with mine. Right. It's not everybody. I have 214 shows. I'd probably say 10% of those, probably 21 of those shows, mm -hmm. those guests I'm working with. Right. The other ones are great, but yeah. these are the ones I really want to promote. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, you really, you really are being a light into the world here. And, and I'm, I'm excited to bring you back and talk about that the headset for people that can't hear. And yeah. I'm sure they're going to develop one for the whole system and everything. Um, and I like that it's headset and not put inside, you know, implanted. <laughs> but Everyone's put stuff in our bodies now. It's like, no, 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 more. no, 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 not no. But, but that's, that's such a beautiful story of healing inspiration and you've been so kind to me and our journey i'm really really super super happy that we got to have this time to start our conversation which we will continue again tell everybody steve how they can get in contact with you and and all your your neat things there Awesome. You can go to my digital business card at infone, I-N-P-H-O-N-E dot C-O slash podcast, infone dot C-O slash podcast. Perfect. All right. Well, you guys will hear this in all the podcasts available. We're also on YouTube, Money 911, Healthy Money, Happy Life. And thank you again, Steve, for joining us today. Thank you. This was awesome. That's all for this electrifying episode of Money 911, Networking with Purpose. We hope this episode has been a revelation and given you tools to supercharge your networking game. Huge thanks to Steve Ramona for bringing the heat. If you've enjoyed this roller coaster ride of networking wisdom, don't forget to subscribe, review, and share it with everyone you know. Please, it really helps us get the message out. Push the button, subscribe, and then you'll be able to hear our next exciting guests. So until then, next time, this is Chris Miller signing off with a reminder. When it comes to money, personal growth, and networking with purpose, Money 911 is the beacon you can count on. Have an absolutely legendary day. Healthy money, happy life. There's so much to learn about healthy money. I hope today's discussion brings you one step closer to securing and protecting your future. So you can get started on the right foot, go to meetwithchrismiller.com and schedule your free financial fitness strategy session. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe to Money 911 so you don't miss our next episode, which includes health, wealth, 
and peace of mind.